Okay, this is a brief unboxing video on one of our more basic starter kits. And this is the starter kit for Arduino Uno. And it comes with the processor itself, an R3 Arduino Uno, and a whole pile of components to get you started. It makes a great present for somebody that's wanting to start off with uh, using an Arduino microprocessor and doesn't have a lot of the components already in the workshop. So this is how you get it, in a nice plastic box, all nicely cellophane wrapped. Uh, it's got the, the label on the front there and the contents label on the back with uh, an M tag so you can go straight to the, the product page uh, using your mobile phone to see any sort of data sheets for the components that you require. So I'll just go ahead and uh, take the cellophane off it and show you what you get inside. Okay, so take the lid off the box and the first thing you get is uh, a USB A to B lead that's about 3 or 4 inches long uh, three, sorry 3 or 4 feet long it's 1.8 meters long and uh, you then get a number of component packs you get a pack of switches there and uh, push button switches and slide switches I'll speak about them in detail in a wee minute pack of capacitors uh, a little pack with buzzers and pots and tilt switches etc uh, you get three different values of resistors there. Um, pack of LEDs, uh, you get 10 red, 10 green and one RGB LED. Uh, nice little servo motor uh, with all the associated servo horns and accessories. Uh, a PP3 battery clip, so you can power your microprocessor from a PP3 battery, a little 9 volt battery. You get obviously the Arduino processor itself, you get a breadboard half size breadboard that's called uh, with all the power bus rails uh, clearly marked on the side and then you get a pack of uh, 70 male to male jumper wires approximately 70 they come in bundles I think it's possibly about 65 leads something like that uh, and there are uh, a few variations different sizes and colours so what we'll do is just put this to the side and I'll uh, open up the packs and show you what you get in each pack in detail Okay, the first pack that you get is the LED pack. Like I mentioned, you get 10 red, 10 green, and 1 RGB LED. Now, the red and green are 3mm LEDs. We provide these because we like the size of them. And then the RGB is a 5mm RGB. Now, hopefully you can just see that the, the legs there are different lengths. And the longest leg on this RGB LED, the white one, is the cathode. The... Uh, Longest leg on the red and green LEDs is actually the anode. You can see on the, the red and green LEDs that they've got a flat on one side of the LED, and that's attached. The flat is um, indicating the shortest leg, and that flat indicates the cathode. So you get 10 red, 10 green, and one RGB LED. The next pack you get is uh, you get a pack of 10 switches, 5 slide switches and five little push button switches. And these switches are fantastic because they're breadboard compatible. You can just uh, pop them on your breadboard when you're, uh, when you're prototyping your circuit. And these switches, we actually, uh, these switches cost us quite a lot of money to buy in. They're not your standard metal cased switches that are just clamped onto a piece of FR4 breadboard. These are really nice plastic encased power type switches. Uh, so we've provided these so that you get a bit of longevity out of them so they'll last longer. The next pack is a whole pile of resistors. Now in this pack, in fact I won't open them because I'm going to struggle there, uh, you get 10 1K resistors, 10 330 ohm resistors and 10 10K resistors. We chose these values because I mean, the 330 ohms are quite handy for powering the LEDs, that kind of thing, for, for current limiting the LEDs, I should say. Then you get these capacitors. You get a, a, an electrolytic capacitor. It's a um, 100 microfarad electrolytic capacitor. And then you get 10, 10 nanofarad ceramic capacitors and 10 100 nanofarad ceramic capacitors. Now, although the, the Arduino is a, a full microprocessor and you're capable of doing your own timing straight from program, we, we like to include capacitors so you can play about with us and timing networks and uh, making your own decoupling circuits for power supply should you be doing something separate to the microprocessor. Every good starter pack for Arduino needs a servo, 
and uh, we've got these beautiful little servos here that you can just write your own control uh, servo control program for um, or there's readily available libraries for that, you know, on the internet to drive servers back and forward. We always, we always think that when you're starting off with Arduino, you should start off by blinking an LED, then start off by blinking that LED on and off, depending on whether a switch has been pressed or not. And the next project should be trying to get to grip with servo motors. Okay, the next pack you get is the buzzer pack. And in here you get a few little components. Uh, get a diode, a little PCB buzzer, uh, doesn't have very high definition sound that threads played. You can quite easily drive that little buzzer from the Arduino so you get a kind of feedback and output um, to, to let you know that something's switched on or etc. A uh, little 10k ohm uh, potentiometer, a tilt switch, so these two contacts become um, shorted out when the, the switch goes over 45 degrees. Get a little temperature sensor, you get a data sheet on that on our website, and also this photoresistor. So you can make a few different little circuits uh, with everything in that pack. So what I'll do is I'll pull this uh, microprocessor in, and uh, I'll also open up this breadboard. For those of you that haven't seen a breadboard before, I'll just unpack this. So you can see that there's a programming kit, uh, connector, the USB B connector for the Arduino and the, the 9 volt battery connection. And typically you'll just be making up your circuit by programming the Arduino. You might want to power an LED for example. So you just place the LED in the breadboard and then you use the jumper wires to connect between the, the Arduino and the, the breadboard. Like that, simple as that. That's not a that's not a working circuit, I should say, for those of you that want to comment on that. But uh, you know, it, it typically shows that the use of the male-to-male -male jumper wires for quickly guideboarding and prototyping your circuit.